Oh, sh**. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Hey, Elliot. Hey, what? Why do people think butts are so attractive? Why? Uh, poop comes out of out of there. Why do people think that's hot? It's not hot at all. Butts are gross. Meh. Yeah. People like big butts and they cannot lie. They like how shit comes out of there. Poopy's not hot. It's gross. Yeah. Meh. Did you get that from a stand-up comedian? Because I know there was a really famous stand-up comedian who did that bit. Wait, really? Yeah. Who? I don't remember who, but someone did it. Oh. Well, no. No, I did not. That, oh, okay. That's, that's just from my own mind. Nice. Hello, Welcome everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. For us, it has been... Uh, a month and a half. Yeah, like six weeks since we last... Been fucking busy, dude. Since we last had that uh, freaking episode of... Freaking uh, fracking? Well, you know, you probably just saw it five seconds frickin ago. Freaking fracking? Hey, guys, look. <laughs> it's our old friend. Except here he looks kind of like Bowser. And I'd like so. to say, let us know what you think about the audio, because once again, we changed up the audio, and we think we had it right the first time. Yeah. We, uh, yeah, we, we had We were just sitting uh, a little bit too, uh, far, close. Close well, to the mic. I sit far away. <laughs> when you say we, you mean me. No, we, we were both in the, like, I sit as far away from the mic as possible, because I, like, go into full lounge mode, right? Yeah, yeah. I, like, crawl up in the corner of the couch, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so great. Whereas I'm just, like, on the edge of my seat, like, oh, yeah, send the mic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, we're back. We're Hi, here. To new game. Uh, yep. Mario 72. Yeah. Um, this game came out in 1971. Uh, yes, I, I believe that's true. When yeah. I was three years old. Actually, you know what? That's an interesting thing. Why do fucking cars do that? Like, the 2018 um, Ford Explorer comes out in, like, 2017, doesn't it? Uh, yes. I, I picked Ford so. Explorer as a total, like, arbitrary car. <laughs> okay. So, all, all cars, I'm pretty sure. Um, hashtag not all cars. Um, they fucking, they come out with the next year's model during the current year. What the fuck's up with that, you crazy fucks? Uh, I, I assume it's probably because, uh... They're that, fucking crazy fucks? Well, you know, because if they release it early, then by the time Which it's... Which star are you going for? Boil oh, the big bully. Because, right. you know, by the time the next year finally rolls around, then they won't be behind. Because then people won't... People will see it. Because imagine if they did, like, the 2017 one. By the time yeah. 2018 rolls around, it's like, oh, well, this is from last year. I don't want it. Release your fucking car in January of 2018 and call it the 2018 fucking shit. Well, really, I don't... <laughs> wow, look at that guy. Nice. What a trooper. I, I, I don't know shit about cars, so I, I can't really say. But... I know a lot about cars. Oh, do you? Do you want to learn about cars? Sure. Ask me something about cars. Oh, da, da, da. Whew. Close one. What would you like to know? Uh, Actually, I really don't know, want to know. I was just saying that to be polite. The answer to that is the gears. It's in the gears. Okay, well... There's a gearbox. Well, the truth is I don't really care much about cars. And the gearbox is used to... um force an erection oh is it yes mm, cool you stick your dick in the gearbox it's a good time <laughs> sounds yummy yeah what have you been up to for a month and a half dude oh <laughs> uh, well before i talk about that um i would like to say this level right here one of my all-time favorite levels in this game yeah i really like this level too it, it's so small but i mean that's yeah, good i just love i love levels with lava in them it's so fun it's just just hot yeah no hot it's just block. There's just something fun about having because it makes the level fuck harder, and it's more exciting as a result. I I just I just really like this level. It's a lot of fuck me. I also like red, <laughs> so you know. Yeah, dude, red's my favorite color. Oh yeah. Yeah, dude. I think red is my favorite color right now. Really, right now? Yeah, my favorite color changes all the fucking time. Yeah, I thought. Didn't you say it was purple last time? Yep. And my first favorite color was orange. Ah, uh, okay. So I've kind of like come a little bit full circle. You know, red's closer to orange. Ask it. Yeah. Ass kid. But uh, purple's kind of hard because I can't always tell when things are purple. Yeah, yeah, dude. So. You gotta get your colorblindness into account. Yeah. Check your fucking colorblindness. Fuck your bitch. You beasy. Oh, right in the eyes. So, uh, as you were saying, you <laughs> The been past up six to... weeks. Yeah, six months. Um, yeah, guys, no, it's been a long time since we last recorded yeah. the last episode of this show. Yes. Um, Welcome, new subscribers. <laughs> yeah, all two of you. Um, <laughs> no, since the last time we recorded, it's been like 30, 40 subs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. true. Because I got us a bunch uh, from going to that uh, brony convention. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that was Welcome a lot of fun. Bronies. <laughs> one of us likes bronies. The other one doesn't care. <laughs> yeah, dude, that was a lot of fun. That was super cool. Went there and handed out a bunch of business cards. If you were at that con uh, 
and I handed you a business card, and you were watching the show right now. And you can hook us up with some cocaine. Hit us up with a DM. Yeah, thank you. That too. Th thank you very much for taking it. That's very fuck me. That's very fuck me. Couldn't have said it better myself. Uh, here's here's something a bit more related to this game. Uh, what's interesting is at that con there were a bunch of voice actors. Uh, there's always voice actors at it, and uh, one of the voice actors, his name's Richard Newman. Okay. He played a uh, bear hugger, one of the fighters from. Uh, Nintendo's Punch Out game for the Wii. Cool. Yeah. Did, did you ever Bear play Hunter? Him? Yeah, he's he's That's awesome. Every single fight. Have you ever played Punch Out? No. Well, oh. I played the like OG Punch Out. The, the NES Punch yeah. Out. Yes. Um. I actually got my tooth knocked out because of that. Wait, what? That game. You got your tooth. Knocked yeah. Out? I'll, I'll. You finish your story. And I'll okay. Give you okay. Story. Maybe I've told part of this story on Royal Goobs. No, you yeah. haven't, dude. Okay. Really? Well, all right, let's put a pin in that. Okay. But yeah, no, he was there, and I. Sick. He, he was at a panel with all the male voice actors that were yeah. at that con, and I yeah. said, Hey, hey, dude, I remember looking you up once, and I saw that you're the voice of Bear Hugger. Can I get you to say, Timber? And he said, Oh, okay. Timber. It was kind of half-assed, but you know what? He, he, you could tell he was tired. <laughs> because he dude, was like, one time I met this guy, and I was like, Hey, man, I really know you. Can you say this word? And he said this word, and I was like, Fuck, dude. <laughs> well, Sick. no, it was it was still cool to get to Dude, see. He fucking him. said the word I said. I don't want to sound ungrateful. It was fucking crazy. Um, but yeah, no, that was super cool. But, but yeah, Punch Out for the Wii was a uh, yeah, it, it's pretty much a remake of the original one that you played. It has some new new fighters in well, it. Well, like a reimagining. Yeah, it's very similar though. Okay. And uh, it's very clearly based on that version. And well, there's this game called Duty, and there's a new one, and it's the same game. They both have guns, and you know. But Bear Hugger is a he's a Canadian he's like a Canadian redneck character. He's just a big furry guy and lumberjacky. He's like, hey, what's up? I'm a, I'm Bear Hugger. I'm gonna hug you. <laughs> he he loves maple syrup. So you know, nice. just, just like all the the characters in Punch Out, they're racial stereotypes. But you know what? Nice. They're funny, so Haters. who cares? I don't fucking care. Yeah, you can't no. take a racial stereotype that's like just men is a light-hearted fucking thing, then like well, check, check yourself, goddammit. Well, keep in, well, one thing to keep in mind is there's a Japanese uh, fighter in the game, and he's very Japanese stereotype, and you gotta keep in mind the game was made by Nintendo, Japanese, yeah. so if they can make fun of themselves, then you know, hot foot into the volcano, then you know, they, they have the right to... Uh, anyways. I mean, I don't think you get a jail uh, get out of jail free card. But I'm just saying, like, pe people should be able to, like, I don't know. If, if the joke isn't funny, then just fucking ignore the joke. <laughs> yeah, you know, just You, you give lightly. power to people when you pay attention to them. Like, um, if some fucking neo-Nazi comes up in your face and is, like, shouting some fucking racist, horrible shit, don't fucking engage him. Just, just like, ignore that fucker. He's yeah. a fucking shitlord. Don't feed the troll. Goddamn shitlord. So, um, oh yeah, so you lost a tooth? Yeah, dude, okay, what? so I had this buddy named D, and, uh, D and I would fucking, like, he lived really close to me. I met him in first grade, and I remember, uh, talking to him in the playground stuff, and I was like, we should hang out! And he's like, yeah, let's hang out! And so, um, we rode the same bus home from school. Oh, wow. And so, okay. uh, in those days, when you actually had to fucking write down phone numbers and shit, no caller ID. I mean, oh, those were the days. Yeah, <laughs> maybe there was caller ID, but it was at its infancy in 2001, so... Mm. I remember running home from the bus. I was like, what's your phone number again? He's like, all right, 121-111-8943 or something like that. And so I just kept saying it back in my head over and over and over again. So you wouldn't forget. So I wouldn't forget. I'd get off the bus because he, he was a stop before me. I'd get off the bus and just fucking race to my house. I ran as fast as I could. Uh, and I, my mom's like, hi, Elliot. And I was like, mom, 111 144 You know, she's like, uh -huh. um what and i was like write that phone number down and then uh i was like that's my friend d call his mom we want to hang out and so after that we'd hang out like all the fucking time and uh so we play video games and stuff mm -hmm. uh, and so you know a few years later go by we were playing punch out on the nest nice uh, up, dude. upstairs um what oh i was just checking to see how many stars is this red coin wait you did uh, red coin did i yeah we need to do 100 coin Oh, shit. Well... Save that for the next one. I'll do elevator tour in the volcano first. All right, fine. Fuck it. Uh, I mean, you do have to go into the volcano to get the red... The 100 coins. That's so just collect them all. Start, start collecting them. All right, yeah, coins. dude. Yeah, let's do it. Get the goddamn coins. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to start back from where I started just to make sure I don't get lost. All right. Um, hey, look. It's my ass after I eat some spicy food. <laughs> Yay. All right. So, anyways, we were playing fucking Punch-Out, and, you know, we'd get really into it. Like, on the playground, if we were playing, like, Zelda or something, we would play Zelda RP on the playground. Like Zelda D&D. Basically, yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, we, our... During our Banjo-Tooie episode, you uh, told us about okay, that. Okay, yeah, yeah, it yeah. It sounded really sick. With our other friend, Jay. And, um, so... 
JD and I uh, would fucking play, like, whatever game we were actually playing, but, like, like Spyro, fucking, <laughs> whatever on the playground um, for fun. Not every day. Anyways, so you did Punch-Out? I diverge. We were playing Punch-Out. Maybe this was, like, later in elementary school. Probably, like, fifth grade. So this would have been, you know, five years after that. But whatever. So we got inspired to, like, we didn't play RP anymore, right? But we'd uh -huh. still, like, talk about the game and stuff. So we were like, hey, we should box each other. That would be fun. And we're like... <laughs> Yeah, dude, let's fucking box. And he's like, do you have gloves? And he's like, I've got, like, one glove. And I was like, eh, all right, that's fine. So, uh, or one set of gloves. So we each had, like, a glove on our right fist. And we'd, like, fucking one-handed <laughs> box each other. Okay. And, um, and so... Oh, shit. Oh, we'd, man. you know, at first it was like, we'd be like, okay, level one. We're fighting the, the level one guy. Glass was, Joe. Yeah, yeah, it would be, like, easy peasy. And so he would, like, half-ass his boxing, and, uh -huh. you know, we would just, like, punch each other in the chest. And then he's like, okay, now you're at the last boss. Are you fucking ready? I'm, I'm gonna be extra hard now, Mike dude. Mike Tyson. Yeah, and I was like, all right, dude. And so, uh, he, like, we were like, let's go! And then immediately he just fucking right hooks me into the jaw, and my tooth just goes flying out of my fucking face. Oh, and I, no. And I was like, dude! My tooth! Like, he just knocked my fucking tooth out. And, uh... It didn't hurt that bad. I wasn't that upset until I realized I couldn't find my tooth in the grass. And then I started crying because... The tooth I, fairy yeah, won't give me a quarter. That was exactly why, dude. I was so upset that I wouldn't get money from the tooth fairy. So I started crying. Oh, and I explained man. to my mom. And uh, she gave me a dollar anyway. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, great. that's sweet. Yeah. That, that's, that's super rad, dude. It sucks that the tooth fairy doesn't see you after, like, what, the age of 13? Yeah, dude. To, uh, according to her, that's when you become a grown ass man. And the two three, yeah, thirteen. Yeah, for me it was like eight. Yeah, yeah. The fucking bitch. Yeah.